<sighs> Why is everything so low? Okay, so I'm back in the trailer today. Um, continue on the floor, should have it done today, should have the trim done. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to start working away on those drawers that I built yesterday. Get the little cubbies made. And, um, yeah, then I'll see where I go from there. Okay, that was really quick. Just put that trim in. Looks really, really nice. That corner, that corner's hard. It keeps on splitting on me, so I'm gonna have to glue it in. Yeah. While putting that um, that door, that guy, I was looking down at the floor and looking at this place that I had kind of looked at before and cut out a little bit of rot, and I was just like, that, mm, I don't know. So I started to cut some more. And I cut a big piece out of here that is was all rotten, and somehow the water is collecting in there, and I think what is happening is the water is actually running down the uh the door jam and in through here collecting down this corner and it's rotting out the wood that was in there so what i've done is i've actually drilled a hole right down at the bottom of the corner and then i'm going to put new wood in there and also this stuff here i'm going to seal up on the outside so the water can't get in here and run down it i think that might also be what's happening so yeah, I just love chasing rot. So what I'm doing here, um, you can see this aluminum ledge right here. So there's a bunk that goes right where I'm sitting. And my client wanted to make it remo removable so that this whole area could be turned into a seating area. Um, you can see I've made some nice little cabinets here. Uh, these are going to be the seat backs. But I still need the ability to put the... Uh, bunk back in place so right here um, you can see that there's like these teeny tiny little L brackets here and um, they are just like 
drilled through the body and then riveted. And the rivets are coming loose and the L brackets are bending. So what I want to do is I want to make this L, this um, angle aluminum span the entire width of the trailer. So this is a 20, uh, 23 and three quarter piece. And I think I got to cut it in the middle so, and then notch it so that I can bend it so that it stays as one piece because I don't want to cut these pieces up too much otherwise I'm just going to kind of run into the same problems as this right here. So that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Okay, uh, before I move on to the next thing, I'm going to show you what I've got done. Um, I wanted to continue with what I was doing, but unfortunately when I went to Home Depot I didn't get hardware uh, for what I want to do. Um, so I'll show you what that is. So there is the rail. Uh, that goes well, is starting to span the whole front and you can see that I have cut these little angles cut these little angles here so that it matches the contour and then yeah I just have to put a piece in the center and then uh, I'm going to use these existing brackets here but I'm also going to, going to put holes through the body and then fasten them with big washers on either side. And that should make a pretty sturdy mounting um, surface. So yeah, that's what I did there. What is next is I'm going to put the awning mounts up there. So these are not, just as a disclaimer, these are not meant for a bowler. But I purchased these from Thule, and they are for um, a Volkswagen Volkswagen van, I think. Anyway, they got a nice curve there, and then uh, I figure I can relax that curve a little bit more so that it fits the contour of the bowler. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to get to drilling some holes and <laughs> filling it with sealant and... Um, Hope that seals it. So here we go. <laughs> it actually worked. beautifully. Awning success. Check it out. You can see that awning mount just fits beautifully to the contour of the bowler side. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. Once this dries, I'll cut it off and then I'll seal over top of it just so your, you know, curiosity is. Uh, yeah, I, I'm fading here. Anyway, I'm uh, pretty dang happy with how that turned out. Alright, so done for the day. I have built the plug that goes in here now. Put the trim back on. Uh, started to glue this gasket back on. 
and uh, yeah, of course awning is on, like up there, and then these as I showed you before, so I think I got a lot done today, I'm pretty happy with it, and there's Michelle, hi Michelle, hi, that is Michelle who owns the, oh, that's all for today, I'm gonna go have dinner. <laughs>